Hi, I'm Johnson Haygood with the FACD Tip of the Month for March 2014. Today I'm doing an indirect provisional for eight upper anterior restorations. And some of the benefits to doing an indirect provisional as compared to direct are number one, uh, while my assistant is placing retraction cord, which she is doing right now, I'm making the provisional. So we're doing two things at one time. Uh, the second is that we're not curing the composite, the bisacryl, on the preps before impression or, or bonding or provisional. So we're not getting an uh, oxygen inhibited layer and any other contaminants on the teeth that could affect our impression or our uh, bonding of the provisional. And last of all, I just think it's, it's a higher quality provisional. It's easier to, I have less relines. If I do reline it, I can reline it on the model. Um, and it's less less stuff going on in the patient's mouth, so they like that. Um, so what I've done is I've poured a model with uh, Statstone by Horaeus. The set's in two minutes, so we're not waiting a long time for the model. Once I've got that model, uh, I groom it, take off any blubs. If there's any uh, voids in it, I'll place a uh, flowable composite and cure it real fast. Then I coat the model with Triad's model release agent. And then in this case, I'm using uh, Structure Premium Bisacryl Provisional Material by Voco. And I've placed that in the Siltec mold that I made from the diagnostic workup. And now we've seated it on the model, and I'm just uh, lifting the Siltec off. And this is the provisional that I have to start with to work with and I've got some time to do that while my assistant is placing retraction cord.